And now, we return to guest host Todd Herman on the EIB Network. Uh, Coming up, I have an unbelievable update about the uh, seizing of a city from self-described Antifa members. Just got a note from someone. Witnessed something incredible. Uh, Kay Coles, James is with us. She's the president of the Heritage Foundation, also with the Gloucester Institute, um, which is an organization that trains and nurtures college-age leaders in the African-American community. I wanted to talk to you real quickly, Kay, about uh, the coronavirus recovery. There's a lot of us who are feeling very, very anxious to open up, um, and a lot of people like me see no scientific reason at all that the schools should be shut down and um, I'm beginning to feel like this, that, that, that I, I feel perhaps the president has been misled a little bit, uh, by some world health leadership that um, what are we going to do? How are we going to get back opened? Well, first of all, I would commend to you the report of the National Coronavirus Commission, which I have the privilege of chairing and on June 15th will come out with over 250 recommendations for how to do just that. At the Heritage Foundation, we were aghast that uh, it seemed as though we were so focused on just the health side without recognizing that livelihoods were at risk. So we decided to think through that issue and say, okay, if we could make recommendations to the president, to Congress, to governors, to mayors, and to community leaders, what what is the best advice that we could give them so you will see 250 plus recommendations on how ju- how to do just that i will tell you that uh, there were many many lessons learned in the last 3 months not the least of which is uh that uh we need to really do a better job of teaching civics There were governors and mayors who exceeded their authority based on law and the Constitution uh, at the federal level. And uh, so a good understanding of what executive powers there are, what constitutional powers we have at the federal level, at the presidential level. And so we need to get all of that very clear because when this happens again, and it likely will, Uh, We cannot repeat some of the same mistakes that we're making right now. But the virus was one deadly killer. And sometimes, uh, as we've been through this process, we felt like the cure was worse than the virus itself in terms of the cost, not just on, uh, uh, on people's health, but on their livelihoods as well. So we decided you have to do both. You have to protect health, and you have to protect livelihoods. It's not an either or. We must do both. So my admonishment to people is as we get back to work, please, please do it safely. Uh, we can uh, adhere to some of the advice that's coming out about how to do that, but what we don't want to see is another spike in the numbers, and then a reversion back to some of those strict uh, guidelines that we saw coming from our governors. So the American people are smart folks. We can do it. We can do it safely, and I think we will. Well, I just uh, hope that you guys will have a strong eye, and AG Barr will have a strong eye on uh, on states that don't want to reopen and want to slow walk that, because there's a lot of us who live in these states, Kay, who are convinced that some of these governors want to do that. I want to thank you for coming on Rush's show. I join you in prayers for Rush as he fights his battle that he will win. Kay Cole James has been with us, president of the Heritage Foundation. It's heritagedog.org. What else do people need to know to reach you, Kay? Well, you you can find me there. Heritage.org is where you'll find all the information to get in touch. All right. We appreciate your work. And I just, I want you to know, I walked into the Heritage Foundation lobby for the first time ever, and I got chills because you've meant so much to the country. So thanks for carrying on the great, great tradition of the Heritage Foundation. Kay Cole James joins us. Uh, Appreciate you coming on. Kay, thanks very much. So I, I brought this up earlier, and I, I want to bring it up again, because um, as we're looking in 